so today I'm heading out to meet Johnny Popcorn. We're gonna do some pop hunting. It's gonna be a lots of fun. So let the collecting begin. All right, guys, we're here at this new store called Call It New, Call It Antique. I'm here with Johnny Popcorn. Hey, He's everybody. He's gonna join me on this hunt, and we're gonna see what we can find inside. So let's head inside. All right, guys, so we made it inside. So we're gonna walk around and see where these pops are. I'm following Johnny here. Oh, I'll show I'm following him. He's gonna show me where we're going. So we're gonna check this out. It's a pretty big store. It's one of the biggest antique stores I've ever seen. It's like we found all the pops. Tons and tons, and even more over here. Oh, found a chase in the wild. See how much they're going for. Woo! We have quite a few here. Funko Shop Predator. $30 for a branch chase is pretty out there. See all this stuff over here. Oh, wow, okay. There's all kinds here. What is huh. I haven't seen that one before. That's cool. Penguin Imposter. That's a really cool one. 15 bucks, not too bad. Another. It's the yellow one. Not bad. If I get a little sweet. <laughs> 24. Too bad. So not too super terrible. They got some pretty okay stuff here. And they got the Hot Topic Woody. That's cool. They got quite a few things. Um, a whole bunch more shelving. Tony the Tiger, 10 inch. Some of the Peppermint Lanes. Let's go home and pick a little. Bunch of John Snows and not bad selection in here, really. And all these on spinners, Clark Griswold. Look at this, guys. That's cool. It's 25 bucks. It's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Another imposter. The Two Face Impasta. You can get all the imposters. Yeah, that's for sure. We have a lot. Holy crap, there's even more. The cat dog. The giant. There's another chase giant from Twin Peaks. That one's cheaper than the branch chase. Street Fighter Chase. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, reverse flash. It's cheapy. Ooh. Not bad though. Regular price. They have the metallic flash. Just sold this guy off of Macari from our collection. Check us out on Macari. Trap Jaw. Jingles. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Is that ain't right? That that's not that's not right. It's where's Johnny? 
Johnny. Yes, sir. Johnny. I'm going to talk to Johnny about this. Make sure to check out our sponsor, ChaseFunko.com, where you will find Funko-inspired products like pop sockets, t-shirts, and more. Use code POPTASTIC10, use all caps, to get 10% off your order. Okay, Johnny, tell me. You ever seen these before? No. No. So, that's kind of weird, because they sell the two-pack metallic only at Target. And they sell the commons in the singles. So <laughs> someone took the sticker and put it on there. That's an interesting. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, look, they got Superman. My favorite. Oh, look, they got the. I don't have that one. I need that guy. $25. Holy moly. That's like a $7 pop. Crazy, crazy. Some of the prices are a little insane. But it's not bad. I mean, you're finding a lot of things you can't find in other places. So, I think I Buzz. That Batman's pretty cool. I've been wanting to get Billy Idol, and I always just put him back to add to our Rocks collection. <laughs> Jay Garrick. I know you guys are like, he's pulling all the DC pops out, nothing else. Ooh, I really like this one. That's a cool pop. Here. Oh, look, we got stuff over here. We got Iron Spider. Isn't he a good one? It's 21 bucks, so he might be okay. We got some Walking Goods. Supergirl. I have that one. That's a good one. Oh, there's Blink 182 for. That's pretty cool. Fortnite. Got Elf back there. I'm going into stuff. Green Lantern, I have that one. Yeah, I have that one. I mean, that's a pretty cool store, to be honest with you. It's just some of the prices are a little steep. But not bad. Thanos. Mad Max. Spider-Man. Hmm, let's see here. Falcon. Ooh, he's got a con sticker slime pit. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Killer Frost. Killer Frost is a great pop up there. Cool pop. Ooh, look at that. Got the Flash unmasked. It's cool. Yeah. Very cool. Ferris Bueller's at him dancing. Oh, I need that one. I have the other one. Uh, that's just a common. I wonder why it's in there. <laughs> I mean, if it said Superman bobblehead underneath instead of vinyl figure, that one's worth a little bit. But not that one right there. Oh, they have Call of Duty pop. Mm hmm Got the Rainbow Batman back there. That's cool. Naomi Chase. Got the Red Chrome. Monopoly Man. Pretty cool. Yeah, hey. I'm following them. Oh, here's another section of pops too. It's like they just never ever stop. Let's see if I can back up and get them all. It's a nice big section. 20% off. Hey, I found all the WWE ones. Look. Uh -huh. There they are. There's tons. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's Dory. Dory. That girl from Bombshells. Quite a few here. Hey, look. I just got this off Macari. <laughs> Too awesome. It's a what? It's a pop bookmark. <laughs> Bookmark. I've never seen that Holy before. moly, you guys! What is that? I've never seen these things. This okay, awesome. that's cool. Huh. Never hey, seen Rudolph. That. Never insane. heard of that. Check this out. Wonder Woman Chase. Not bad. Melissa Fent. That's a good one. Thirty bucks. 
There's some cool stuff in this little cabinet here as well. Zuka Joe. Hot girl. I can get her. There she is. A lot of Star Wars. Look here. Wow, you guys. Look at that price. Wow. Some of these are way too expensive. Easy. Check that out. Cool. So all in all, this place is pretty cool. Lots of cool pops. Johnny's having a good time looking around. Oh yeah. I've enjoyed it. We'll show you what we got at home. All right, guys. So first that I got from that pop hunt today was nothing really because there was really nothing to get. There was a lot of cool stuff, but nothing that really piqued my interest. But I did trade with Mr. Johnny Popcorn there, who was with me, and we traded. I got the Firestorm black and white what do you call it fugitive toys exclusive mm. he wanted our uh, power rangers uh oh, unmasked yeah. power rangers galactic toys so we just did an even swap on that well, that's and cool when i got there to meet up with him he had said that he went over to the books books what's that bookstore called mm. now and later or Wasn't books and book something some kind of book place I wasn't there either when he went to this. This oh. was before I got there. Ah. And then I got there and he was like, Hey, I got you something. And I was like, Oh, he's a sweet guy. He, he's always a very giving person. But he got me the uh, Bizarro Dorbs because I am going to start collecting a bunch of these Dorbs. The Superman Dorbs. I actually have a couple. Here, let me show you. So, yeah, it was kind of cool that he got me that because I picked up on Makari um, the False God Dorb mm -hmm. from Batman vs. Superman. I've decided because of Mr. Dr. Applesauce, who got a couple of uh, Batman dorbs, and I was like, ooh, I should probably collect all the Superman dorbs. You know that light bulb goes off in your head? That collector light bulb? <laughs> but I never thought I'd ever buy a dorb, but I have now. I have a few. <laughs> quite a few. In They're like all quite Superman's, a week or though. so. Yeah, yeah. And I got the classic Superman dorb. There's a <laughs> Superman number one out there dorb that I'm going to have to get. And I also, this one I thought was I really, love, really cool. I just love this version. Of the Always, pop, yeah. Of the, yeah. It's a 3,500 piece Hot Topic exclusive Clark, Clark Kent, Kent Dorb. So that's pretty cool. And Any if, Clark Kent opening his shirt with that symbol just yeah. gets me. Yeah, it's awesome. With his glasses on and everything. I like his hat. The hat always gets me. It's yeah. cool. That's so old school Clark Kent with the hat on. Because none of the new Clark Kents ever wear a hat. Oh, that's true. They never do. It was just Christopher say, like, Reeve even and George Reeves. The Reeves. Smallville wise. No? Never no. did. Nope. So those were cool to get. And the yeah. pop hunt was fun today. That store was really cool. Um, there was that one little part where I found those... Uh, Green Giants yeah, were weird. What yeah, was very that? weird. It's like they put a two pack and they put them in two common boxes and then put the stickers on. I, I, I don't know. It seemed like the guy there that owned all the pops, it seemed like that antique store itself, they had sections. It's and, like consignment. That's yeah, how so you would like out. consign out a spot. So he had all his pops there and he had quite a few spots as you saw. But um, he, I asked him where he gets all his pops and he says he just buys collections. So maybe he got that in some part of the collection and he, he said he doesn't know any better. He just started this and I don't know, I guess he found a way to invest into something he knew nothing about, which was pops, which I thought was interesting. But it some, is. Some of them were really outrageously priced. But that just goes to show, or I mean, as once you get going with the collecting, you start to piece it together, but just know what you're looking at when you're looking at things, you know what yeah. you're looking for. Uh, always pull your phone out, check Funko app, PPG. Yeah, you're unsure. Yeah, mm -hmm. see what it's exclusive to, see what it's valued at before you start Yeah, yeah. buying too crazy. Yeah, and uh, some of the stuff may be PPG valued close to some of these prices, but you can also look on Macari and some of these other places That's and true. find it for a lot cheaper sometimes. So always go, go on your avenues. But if, like I said, there was a lot of pops in there that I've never seen before, so it's cool to see they had quite a few. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you, Johnny Popcorn, for discovering that place and letting us go pop hunt. That was quite yeah. fun. We'll probably return. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed the pop hunt today and you enjoyed these pops and dorbs and stuff, make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you're notified every time one of our videos goes up. Yep. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Indeed. And we'll see you next time on, on Phoenix, Phoenix Poptastic. Pop